Now, the Man United midfielder, Kobe Manu, has received his first call-up for the England men's senior squad. The 18-year-old was initially part of the under-21s, but has been drafted into Southgate's group. Benny, um, what do you make of that? And also, does he start? Where does he play? Listen, he's all... you know I love him. I think he's a great player. I said, I think I put in the group, and no one really bit on it. And this was last week. I put it in Drive's group, mm. right? And no one really bit on it. And you I said, didn't see it, I imagine. And I, I said, like the, the way that the midfield play, the midfielders play in, in their their re- re- retrospective clubs, right? Retrospective clubs, right? I said, do you know what would be a good midfield? Maynu, Declan Rice, Drew Bellingham, right? And I put it in the group. <laughs> find it. You put it in the group. I pick, but I picked him in my squad. You didn't. No, I'm talking about ages ago when we were talking about midfields. Oh, okay. That's convenient. I, I, have a look. I put up, find it for you. Oh, okay. And I thought that would be the right balance. Maynou holds. Declan Rice, who's, who's almost transitioned into this eight for yeah. Arsenal, because yeah. Jorginho's holding, and then Jude Bellin does what he does. But fair play to him. He's been outstanding. Um, he, he Does he deserve it? On form, probably. I mean, to come into a, a site, a club the size of Manchester United, 18 years old, and, 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 and keep players like... Casimir in that out. Pfft, fantastic for him. Yeah, it will be great. It will be great. We'll talk more about that, lad. If you're an MEC, you can 0371722344. Uh, as we um, we talked about, and in fact, talk sport been talking about throughout the day since the news broke, the Man United midfielder, Kobe Manu, has received his first call up to the England men's senior squad. All right, the 18 year old was initially part of the under 21s, but of course has been drafted in. So, Southgate so, uh, squad, a couple of questions for you. A, why didn't he do this when the squad was announced? Surely he didn't watch the Liverpool game and go, sorry, who's that fella there? What's he there? No, nah, there must be a slight injury concerns, I think. That's why well, no one's pulled out the squad. No, but there's there's times where you have to assess someone and there are times where a player's got picked up a slight knock and Gareth might go, right, he's, he can't play in the first game, Brazil, but he might be available for Belgium. Okay. So but that, still. that's why, but I mean, you, when you look at that holding midfield role, there's not that many about. No, and he's young and he's fresh. Yeah. And... I'm not being biased here. He's a wonderful talent. He really is a wonderful talent. He is a wonderful talent. And if he gets an opportunity against Brazil, Belgium, and he does well, he puts himself in a fantastic position to get in the squad. Because, as I said, we all know Rice is the holder. But anyone who's watched Arsenal over the last few weeks, Rice is now involved into the eight. Okay. And Jorginho's been holding. Okay. And that's Rice has been getting in the box, scoring goals, playing really well. So if so, Gareth is thinking, hmm, potentially, mm-hmm. may, may not, even I think it's too early for him, but still, may not, Declan Rice and Bellingham. Oh, it, would that there. be your three? If everyone's fit, would that be your three? Maynard would be my only concern because we've not seen it. And even though he plays for Manchester United, yeah, it comes with his own pressure. But we hadn't seen Theo Walcott in an English shirt. Why are you throwing out my face? No, I'm just saying. We're we having a serious conversation. No, I, I'm just saying. No, no, don't say. Don't just say. <laughs> does it still hurt all these years later? No, nah, you know it doesn't. But it does It does happen, right? I'm not saying it's the right thing. The Theo Walcott was nuts, to be yeah. fair. You he, were the, remember, he'd never played a Premier League game. No, and you were the highest English goal scorer yeah. that season. I mean, that, that whole scenario is ridiculous. But Maynu, he's been playing at. A high pressure club in Manchester United, the biggest club, in, one of the biggest clubs in the world. They're not exactly free flowing. He's been one of the only positive not stories. One. Okay, well, name me another one then. Go on, you. Okay, that's true. So is that okay that I've named another one? No, but you, I said he's been one of. All right, okay. And An- you, Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you funny comedian. Yeah, go on. But no, look, if he plays, I'd like to play him against Brazil or Belgium. And if he handles that, then Gareth's got a big decision to make. Okay, who are your three? Oh, sorry, who's your extra one in that? Today? Set? Oh, if it was today, then. Declan Rice holding Trent are you sticking Trent in there Trent and oh no actually now I'm going Declan Bellingham H- Hendo and no, you're not. No, you're Henderson not. don't and, say that and Bellingham you're not doing that they're my three you're not putting Henderson in are you yeah are you are you yeah Benty Benty people are listening to this and they're going to go that's Trent, Darren Bent doesn't know what Trent, you're talking about Trent okay. I'm going Trent Declan and Bellingham Andy is an Arsenal fan hi Andy how are you hi how's it going I'm, I'm, great. Great. I'm well thank you Good. We're very well at this end. Thanks for asking. No worries. No worries. What have you phoned oh, up to I, tell us? I, I just want to say, first of all, that is that is ridiculous that you're even putting Trent in there, in the midfield. Uh, I, I think that's absolutely absurd. Well, da- uh, oh, no, Darren said that, so tell him why it's absurd. Well, you, we haven't seen him in that midfield role so much, have we? And and what you want to do is, going, in, going into this, you want to, you want to go into it. I, I understand you guys are saying about putting Maynard in there and seeing how he does, and he puts himself on a good footing. But you want to go into these friendlies against two big sides that may I add. You want to go into there and you want to you want to have your starting team, right? So being an Arsenal fan, I obviously like to watch attacking style of play, right? I like to see an attacking style of football. And I understand that uh, Southgate might not be doing that. He might not be playing a, uh, uh, an attacking style. And that's why he might go with Maynou, right? But like, I don't think that he 
has proven himself. So, who's, who, so listen, Andy, cut to the the, the chat. Who are your three? My three, my three. I'd I'd have to go with uh, Rice Holden because you know he can do that job no matter what, no matter the pressure. He's been the star man at Arsenal this season. Um, and then I'd have I'd have Madison in there and and Jude. That, that's that's yeah. But you're, you're saying something that's never going to happen. Like, I know it's not. My, like, know my three with Trent in there is because. He's not a holder, but he's got that ability to unlock with his passing range. But there's no way on the planet, and he's got defensive mind on him, although defensively, I get it, there's question marks. There's no way Gareth's going into the first game of any major tournament with Madison and Bellingham as your tens. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate he wouldn't, and, and I can see why he's brought Manu along. But myself, my three, that's the three that I'm starting. Okay. If that Thanks. makes sense. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, of course he does. Yeah. No phone in there? No, because phone for me is playing from the left. Foden, yeah. Kane, no. Saka. He'll, he'll play Rashford on the left, you know that. He won't. Oh, he, will. he will. He will. You said that he wouldn't, shouldn't even make the squad. What? You what are you talking about? You said, Rashford's my boy. I'd never no, say... No, you're lucky. So talking about <laughs> Carl's up next. Hello, Carl. Evening, gents. How are you? Uh, very well, thank you. Good. How, how are you? I'm very well, thank you for asking. What would you like to say? In that, in that case, I'd like to do a Goldstein on Goldstein. Okay. I think I've got that DVD. <laughs> I'm not sure we can show that. Um, <laughs> we definitely can't. Go on. Um, if you could guarantee England winning the Euros, because he's going to leave the manager's job anyway. No, I don't. If it, gar- if it guarantees no, him I... winning the Euros, would you take him as Man United's no. manager? No. Right. Even, okay, if, it, even well, if it guaranteed England win no. something? No. Would you? No, not as Liverpool manager. <laughs> You've got more chance of getting him because you need a new manager. Well, we do, but so do you, because your guys. I think your guys not play for the month with the guys took over. I think but you'll find. I think you'll find that both managers in question were in opposite dugouts at the weekend, and only one was victorious. Well, yeah, but if you look at the av- uh, the aggregate score over the last four or five years, you still need snookers. Oh. But anyway, hold on, hold on, <laughs> Carl, Carl. What about if I just look at the score from the weekend? If you, well, if you look at the score for the weekend, you won. But then, when has aggregate you know, that... score over the last few years ever ever been a sentence? Well, the, I'll just ninety it. minutes draw on it. <laughs> if you look at the aggregate score over the last few, what is that score, Carl? You drew it the I'm weekend. Sure, I'm sure Benny will agree. That's not as bad as some of the things that you've come out with over the last few months. Hey, do you know what, ben, Carl? You are 100 percent correct. But Carl, what is the aggregate score over the last few years? Well, I don't know, but I mean, we've got a seven, hey, do, you, do you want to work out for you? Seven, no, I definitely don't. Seven, we've got seven oh, you're breaking up, Carl. I can't hear you. What did you say? Don't worry, Carl. Yeah. I'll find it for you. You broke up there. What was that? Yeah, we've got a seven. Oh, four, he's gone again. I can't hear you. Thanks for phoning, Carl. Going back to England, Go on. I, would, I would play Rice as holding midfielder. Then in front of him, Trent, Bergham and Foden. And hold then hold only it. play... Then only play two up front, which is Harry Kane and on current form, Cole Palmer. And who? Harry Kane and who? Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer? On, on current form. So no Saka, no Foden. No, no, no. In front of Rice, Trent Bellingham Foden. Trent Bellingham Foden. And then? And Kane and Palmer. Okay. Cole, yeah, we like Cole. Listen, Cole Palmer's a fantastic player. I don't know if he justifies getting a starting spot in Gareth's team yet, but he's a wonderful player. Mm. What are you doing? You're working out, aren't you? Yeah, the, la- the last five... Oh. No, listen, the last five appearances, at the minute... I'm on... He said the last few years, not last five. Yeah, well, the last five is... is no, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Last five. Keep calls coming in. The la- oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually currently oh. on 10 for uh, Liverpool. Yeah, but that's because they had that weird game when they scored seven. <laughs> Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.